hi guys welcome back to my channel so i know you guys are probably like freaked out by the title because i typically don't really title my videos stuff like this but i just wanted to come on here and just do my makeup because honestly doing my makeup is what really makes me happy and lately i just really have not been happy like the past couple of months i just haven't really been happy i haven't really been feeling my best and i know that when i do my makeup that's typically the only time that i feel my best so i just wanted to do my makeup and just kind of talk to you guys and just kind of let you guys in a little bit um on my life um but yeah so i like i said i've just been feeling really down lately and i just wanted to do something that just made me feel happy that made me feel pretty um and that's doing my makeup and I don't know why but you know just lately it's just been a really hard time especially with quarantine going on i guess being in quarantine just kind of makes you really sit down and think about your reality in life and think about and focus on the problems that you're really having and for me that's just i guess just getting older and learning how to deal with you know my emotions and things like that um i grew up you know without a father in my life uh and Basically, I feel like I'm dealing with some of those emotions now and some of those quote unquote, you know, daddy issues and things like that. And I, I'm trying to fix them. I'm trying to work on them. I didn't realize that I had those issues until as of recently, um, after having a conversation with my husband. So, you know, just dealing with that and just dealing with, um, figuring out who I am as a person, I guess that's the hardest thing. Um, I'm 25 and I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, it's not easy trying to figure things out. So yeah, I'm just trying to work on that. And if it feels like I'm ranting guys or like all over the place, honestly, it's because I am, I'm literally just speaking from my heart at the moment. So bear with me. Um, but yeah, things have just been all over the place. And then, you know, with all the news and uh, George Floyd and every other thing happening in life, it just really is scary to me. I don't know why I'm about to cry but it just really is scary to me just i just get so scared one because i'm a black woman two because i'm married to a black man and i have two black african-american brothers and it's just like heart-wrenching like it breaks my heart to see everything that's happening in the world and everything that's going on like it honestly makes me scared to want to have a son like it makes me so scared to want to have kids it just makes me scared to bring a family into this world and like me and my husband are ready to have kids we're ready to start a family i just am so scared and i'm just worried you know what i mean um but i know god doesn't put more on you than you can handle so i just trust in him and i just you know kind of lean my faith more on him when i'm feeling down like this because it's a really hard time for me right now uh in my personal life and just dealing with world problems so i'm just trying to work on Figuring out how to deal with all of those emotions at once, how to deal with all of those issues. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of background. I had a video up on my channel, but I took it down um, because I was very vulnerable in that video. So I just took the video down because I just wasn't really happy with it at the moment. I wasn't really feeling it. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, I grew up with a father figure in my life until I was 16, 15, 16 years old. And it was my dad and I have a brother and um, growing up I always felt different I always felt out of place I always felt different I always felt like something was off something just you know I just didn't understand what it was I knew I looked like my mom but I didn't understand why I didn't look like my dad or why I felt like I didn't look like my brother and um, my mom and my dad they ended up breaking up uh, when I was I think 15 or 16 I think I was 16 at the time they broke up when I was 16 and then um, I think when I turned 17 my mom ended up telling me she sat me down and had a conversation with me and said hey you know the person that I told you was your dad for your entire life is not your dad and when she said that you know at first I was in shock I didn't understand what she meant but as I said and th thought about it for a little bit of time, I realized that this is the feeling that I've been feeling. Like I never felt like I could have a connection with my quote unquote dad. I just felt like something was off. And come to find out, you know, she tells me that this guy who is legally my, I have his last name on my birth certificate. He signed my birth certificate, all that stuff. He is not my father. And um, so ever since then, I've just been, you know, kind of, 
dealing with emotions, I guess. I've never really dealt with those emotions. So I'm thinking about, you know, going to seek therapy and things like that. Um, But yeah, so my mom, you know, my mom lied to me about who my dad was my entire life. And then one day I woke up and the life as I knew it basically was over. And I never really dealt with those emotions and I still haven't. And, um, you know, I kind of asked her, you know, why? Why did she do those things or why did she feel the need to lie to me? And my mom got pregnant with me at 13 years old, guys, and had me at 14. So, and she didn't have a mother figure in her life. She didn't have any guidance in her life at all. We actually lived in foster homes up until I was, I think, three years old. Um, Well, up until she turned 18, actually. So, she didn't have any guidance. And, um... I guess she was just scared. She ended up telling my biological father that she was pregnant with me and he wanted nothing to do with it. They were both the same age. Um, I think he was like a year older. He wanted nothing to do with it. And uh, I guess she ended up meeting my quote unquote dad, the one on my birth certificate around the same time she was pregnant and ended up telling him that he was the father, um, which is wrong. She shouldn't have done that. But how can you blame somebody with no guidance? You know what I mean? So um, I'm just dealing with that and I guess it's stemming into my marriage my daddy issues and I'm just trying to work on it you know what I mean like I'm only 25 it's not easy so yeah that's just kind of a little bit of what I'm going through right now and I just I don't know I'm just really struggling in life right at this very second and I just hope things get easier Ugh, I'm gonna cry ew 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 (laughs) um but yeah and then on top of that you guys know that Um, I'm moving out of the country soon hopefully by mid-June I'll be gone but um, I'm moving out of the country for three and a half years so uh, yeah I'm just dealing with those emotions dealing with daddy issues dealing with you know the global pandemic it's just so much going on and if you guys don't know I am a uh, empath and I carry everybody's emotions and my own so I'm dealing with a lot, guys. I'm really dealing with a lot, and I'm trying to work on it. I'm trying to work on my emotions and things like that, but it's not easy. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to make this video just in case anybody else was going through something similar. I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys. Honestly, I just wanted to vent because I know I don't really talk to you guys much, but I just wanted to vent and just talk to you guys. Um, hopefully, this video helps somebody, or hopefully somebody out there can help me and give me some good advice or some good words of encouragement or whatever it is honestly I would really appreciate it um but yeah that's basically my life at this moment um I'm just trying to figure it out honestly it's not easy trying to figure things out you know especially when for 18 years of your life you thought one thing was your family and then life as you know it was completely over so I think for me it's more than just about my daddy issues quote unquote um but the guy who I thought was my biological father isn't my biological father, which means that I don't have a full-blooded brother. Like, I just have a half-brother, which means that that whole side of the family that I know is not my family. So I don't even know where I come from, if that makes sense. So, yeah, guys, that's literally what I'm dealing with. And I'm so sorry to just drop this on you guys, but I just wanted to vent. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat. Comment down below and let me know if you guys want me to go more in depth, if you guys want a full video on it. And... I'll definitely do that for you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.